Let's think back to what you did last lesson. You learnt two big words to do with angles. Do you remember what they were? Today, the first one? Yes. Comp. Comp. Oh, you gave me two. Okay, now, by the way, complimentary. How do you spell it? How do you spell it? What's the next letter? I. 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 So, you said correctly. The complimentary was one of the words you learned, yes, last time, last lesson. Uh, and it is spelt with an E. What happens when you spell it with an I? What does it mean when there's an I in the middle? Yes, Lee. Turns into the compliment as in being nice. Yes, that's right. So this is saying something nice about someone, right? There, whereas when you put an E in there, and if you put A, R, Y in the end, this is the adjective. They fit together, as it were. So mathematicians have kind of borrowed that word, and they've used it to mean two angles that add up to 90 degrees, or, or a right angle. Okay, what was the other word? Do you remember what it was? Yep. Well done, supplementary. So as you remember, supplementary, it sounds like complementary, with good reason. What does it mean when two angles are supplementary? Yes. Add up to 180. Okay, so give me some examples. Can some people name some pairs of angles that add up to 180? Anyone? Yep. Yeah. 90. 90 and 90. Okay, good. Another pair. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. 20 and 160. 20 and 160. Also equal to 180. Good. These are both good. I like them. Bit boring, but lots of 10. Come on, we can be a little more adventurous than that. Someone want to give me one that's... Yeah, no, do you want to give me one? No. I'm just stretching, that's cool. Yeah, all right, Jasmine. 47, 47, and... Whoa. 133, good, well done. Okay, let's do one more. Someone from this side of the room, please. Someone, anyone? Yeah, Chelsea. Ah, uh, fine. I did ask for it not to be a lot of 10. Great, that's fine. So these pair of angles, supplementary, 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 we can also say that 179 is the complement of 1. And 1 is the, sorry, supplement. And 1 is the supplement of 179. You've learned all this language before, yes? Not at me, please? Yes? Okay, good, right. Let's move on a little bit. So that was revision. So let me get a new colour. Pick a colour. Purple! Hey, 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 hey. The new subheading you can make yeah. is yeah. angles at a point. Angles at a point. Angles at a point. Now we all know what a point is, don't we? What is a point? Here's a point. Okay. Now we can draw a series of angles at this point. For instance, I could draw, um, let's see, uh, uh, there we go. There are four angles at a point, okay? Why don't we name them? Let's call this one over here A degrees, B degrees. I'm actually not naming them, am I? I'm actually saying their size, but that's C degrees and A degrees. Now the question is, or at least one of many, is uh, what do all of these angles, A plus B plus C plus D, what do they add up to? Someone hasn't said something yet, because we've had a few... Yeah, James. 360 degrees. Let's write that down. A plus B plus C plus D. Okay. That's equal to 368. Gentlemen, when you're ready. Now one of the quick ways that you could see that is to look at this diagram, right? And take any of these, what are these called by the way? Do you remember? The lines that make up the two sides of an angle, one of these. Starts with, it does start with A, but it's much smaller than us. Yep, they're arms, right? Because for instance, if we just have a look at D over here, it's like two arms and D's in between. So there we go, there's the angle. Now if I get rid of most of these arms, 
Let me get rid of this one and this one and this one. Okay. And then draw the angle that results. You'll get this. Okay? If I've gotten rid of all the rest of the arms. So it goes all the way around and then comes back. This is 360 degrees. It's such an important angle that we give it a special name. Do you remember what it's called? Yes. It's called a revolution. So, our first thing to say is that angles at a point add up to 360 degrees, or angles at a point make a revolution. Okay, so let's write that down. It's an important idea. Put it in a different color, put a big box around it. Angles at a point add up to. 360 degrees, okay? Full stop. So let's do a simple one first. Let's see how we might use this in an example, okay? Draw for yourself, and by the way, for all of these with your arms and that kind of thing, you really need to use a ruler. Uh, it's not quite an angle when you've got like a curvy thing and another curvy thing. It's like, where's the angle? It's somewhere in there, I don't know. So use a ruler. If you don't have one, go and grab one. Borrow from a friend. Have a nice straight line for all of your um, all of your arms. Okay? That's a bit better. Okay. Now, if I give you a few different angles here, for instance, let's go with that 179 that we got from Chelsea before. Okay. And I'll put one more angle on here. What does that look like? Maybe that's 80. It looks like 90. Oh, it's a bit off. Now. This angle over here that we don't know, okay? Let's give it a size. Let's call it x, okay? So how would I write out the working to show this answer and not just get the answer? Remember, I've been saying this whole time, the working you put down, the way that you get to your solution is just as important as the solution itself. So, any suggestions? Let's, um, let's go back to purple, shall we? For what I ought to write in my very, very first line. Hmm, there we go, have a go. Ooh, okay, I'm going to go with 179. There is going to be some subtraction that happens. So Naomi's on the right track, but where can we go from here? Uh, let's see. Ooh, everyone's... Okay, yeah, let me get on the right. 179 minus 80. Ooh, hold on. That was a similar thing to what you said. Okay, yeah, I know. Do you want to help us out? 179 plus 80 Okay. Hold on, hold on. Hands down, hands down, hands down. Now, I think we're going well so far, okay? But all the answers that I'm hearing, I actually think will get you to the right final answer, okay? But I don't think they're the best way to write it. Let me try and explain why. This thing up here, which you wrote in special writing, and put a big box around, okay? What I write down here in numbers ought to reflect what I've written up here in words. Can I say that again? It is so important. What I write down here in numbers ought to reflect what I've written up here in words. You're going to get this a lot. You'll, you'll learn different properties and qualities about maths and geometry. And when you have them in words, you should translate them into numbers. Now, let's have a look. Angles at a point add up to. Look at that, right? Angles at a point add up to. So if I want my numbers here to reflect my words here, I should have a whole bunch of additions, shouldn't I? 179 plus 80, that's a good start, but that's only two of the three angles at my point. What's the third angle? It's x, isn't it? Okay, so this is what I'd like you to have written out. Now this is, these are the angles at a point. Okay, now when I add them all up, they should add to 360. So I will say this. Okay. Now by the way, particularly now since we're just learning this idea, right, it's really important that you actually write down, after this statement, you justify it. After this statement, you explain why it's true. That's what justification means. So therefore, 
after you've written this line, I'd actually like you to write this again. Put it in parentheses over here. I've kind of run out of space on my board, so I'm just going to put that in. But you should say, this is how you're working, you should set it out. 179 degrees plus 80 degrees plus x degrees equals 360 degrees because angles at a point add up to 360 degrees. Okay? Or now we can do some subtraction. We want x, don't we? Okay. So in order to get x by itself, okay, I need to get these two guys over the other side, don't I? These two guys. Okay. So therefore, I'm going to sub subtract 179 and 80 from both sides. Okay, like so. X degrees. 360 minus 179 minus 80. Is that okay? Yeah. People are right with that. You see what I've done? I've kept it balanced. The equation is still balanced. What I did to the left hand side, subtract these two, I've done to the right hand side as well. Subtract numbers. Great. Can we work it out? Now, of course, you could reach your calculator, but I think we can do better than that, especially because the numbers that we've chosen are kind of nice. For instance, let's have a look at these two. Let's have a look at these two. If I made that 180, 360 minus 180, what would you get? 360 minus 180, think about it. I'd just get 180 again, wouldn't I? Because 180 is half of 360. So if I don't subtract quite that much, it should be 181, shouldn't it? Is that okay? And that's pretty easy, isn't it? 